Hey, my fellow camp building nerds, I'm Mr. Church. And why bother building a gigantic structure or a cardboard box which I'm sure looks beautiful to someone out there when you can just camp on top of the rooftops and be safe from the ghouls that are killing us all? So we're going to start our adventures off at this building here. Uh, we're going to put our camp node up there so we have extra building room if we want it. And we're just going to shimmy up this... We're just going to shimmy up... We're just going to shimmy up this pole. We're just going to... We're just going to shimmy up this... We're just going to shimmy up... So as you can see, we're building right near... Charleston Station. Uh, you just spawn in right here, and then you run this way towards the skull and crossbow. I mean, first try. Now. As you can see, I put my camp down here. Uh, this allows us to have a pretty good uh, radius around this entire building, including out the back, which we have plans for. Right there, that's going to be the most fun part, believe me, it's not. And, um, yeah, so let's get building. So a weird thing about this rooftop we're building on is if you build up next to this brick facade, it actually works like a... it acts like ground. So as long as a little bit of it is touching it, you can actually put down a foundation up here, which is kind of funny. Uh, there's other stuff that you can stick into this wall. Um that you can only put in the ground as well, for example. These things, look, I'm not making this up. That is the stupidest thing I've ever seen, but it allows us to put this foundation piece down, which uh, well, I'm gonna try to move it this way, but it doesn't want to. Okay, so that's gonna be there forever. Um, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna build, uh, do you mind? Thank you. Uh, we're gonna do some, uh, a little bit of, uh, let's see, I can snap off it now that I have one down, even though this would typically be a unbuildable place with foundations, I can snap to it, and so on and so forth, all the way over to here. This is a little crooked, and uh, you certainly don't have to do this because it's a pain in the batuti, but... I'm going to move it this way a bit and sink it down. As long as I can still put a wall here, which I can, I can shove it that way as far as I want. Okay, now, is this straight? I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Let's let's throw another one down. Let's, let's fill this in. Uh, let's see. Just... Yeah, now, funny, also funny thing. Uh, I'm going to move this out of the way while I build, as a just a side note. A uh, funny thing is I can actually clip to this. Don't worry, this right here is temporary. And um, I'm actually putting these under the, the roof right now. Now, the reason I'm doing this is so we can do our classic double wall routine, which I like to use these warehouse walls for because they have the smallest trim around the doorway. And they're quite thin. If you use the brick one, you're looking at a big meaty ham sandwich right there. Which, uh, we're not going to do. So, this allows us to put a wall up here. And then, of course, once we're done with that, we just get rid of that. And I'm going to turn these into something else. I think what I'm going to use up here is the good old... Uh, who's it? And um, we can actually make this look even worse... And by that I mean better by, I'm going to show you a trick for like a boarded up look. I'm going to turn this into a window, not that one. Uh, which one do we want up here? Perhaps, perhaps uh, this window. No. What am I talking about? Anyway, let's assume for some reason people built window up here you go behind it and you take this doorway 
and you turn it into a wooden wall. And now when you peek through the door, or through the window I mean, you see how it looks boarded up? Now that's a really cool feature. And we're just gonna make this into, what, what we're trying to go for is not a boarded up window. I'm just showing you how to do that for your own time somewhere else. I'm just wasting everyone's time basically. Just just do this. It's uh, some, What we've done is we built a pallet wall up on top of the roof. Just kind of you know, have a little bit of privacy up here. Um, for this opening, we're gonna we're gonna take some stuff and we're just gonna we're gonna take our junk walls if we can find them, which I think they're in uh, defenses or something, or because these are defenses here. I'm sorry, sorry, I'll edit that out. Okay, um, let's see. Uh, just pinch these up as close as we can to the front. And I'm going to use two different types because we're not basic and we have creativity and that means we have variability. Is that a word? I don't really care at this point. Remember, the story goes, we're fortifying the rooftops so the ghouls don't kill us. So what we've done is we've thrown together a junk wall. We've managed to build this wall using pallet and plywood that we found laying around. When you're, whenever you're building around a structure that's already there, there's things that don't want to cooperate, like this, for example. It just, what it does is it hates you, and it really doesn't want you to enjoy your time playing the game. But we can, we can overcome these difficulties because we are I, oh, overcomers, I, I guess. I, I don't. I'm just trying to build this fucking base, okay? So let's let's move on to the next step. All right, so I'll figure out what I'm gonna do with these walls later. In the meantime, what we're gonna do is build our way up to this second layer. And we don't want this to look ridiculous and like those fabled floating bases that your friend Boris J nine one four sixty nine made uh so what we're gonna do is specifically not have floating shit so anything that we attach stairs that go up into the space with we're going to have posts connecting them back down to ground because we're not barbarians and we do understand how the laws of physics work all right boris thank you now this allows us to get up here there is a slight gap i tried uh doing that but it doesn't want me to even though i ask nicely so we're going to try putting some, I guess, carpets there, just so there's not a massive gap uh, sticking out. You don't have to do this, it's really just a matter of preference, just like everything else in the game except for Boris's floating camps, which is just, that's a matter of ethics, which we won't get into now, but we will later. There's only so long I can go without saying that this is ridiculous and stupid. And we'll start throwing some crafting. Why does he wait till I start talking to fucking... And I don't really know why it won't let me put this down. And it's starting to make me a little less happy than it was before. And that bar is set pretty low, generally speaking. So I'll get back to that later. In the meantime, I think we've all been asking ourselves, how are you going to get up to your camp in the first place since we all saw... Uh, your dismal failure in the opening scene. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a little, uh, basically a fire escape down the back here. And this part is gonna be annoying as fuck, so bear with me. Uh, well, the first thing we're gonna try to do is wedge foundation blocks in this hole here along the back of this wall. So to do that, you're gonna start off over here, close to the building, and then after that you'll be able to snap to the wall but the trick is we don't want to be too close to this post or too close to the wall because we have to be able to build what we're going to do is build a dumb little uh, gantry prefab staircase things all the way up three stories high therefore i believe we will need to to move these bits around and Get them oriented properly 
and uh, that will require a little uh, moving bits back and forth to try to get them just right. Uh, to test to see if it works, you can try putting a stair in here. Like that. And if it'll let you put it, you have enough room. Congratulations. Uh, you can... You may notice that like when you're trying to build with these, sometimes you, you can't stack them. Now, this could be two things. You could be too close to that lip. Or, uh, Todd hates you. We've already discussed the possibility of that. Um, you can't really trust his hair, so um, that's always a possibility. What we're going to do is build these silly little posts all the way up to the th third level. Come on, come on. And then uh, we're going to choose the one that has the... Oh yeah, of course, I forgot. Todd hates me. Let's start over. Okay, so for dumb... For, for the concept is that we're going to be snapping the, the stairs to these posts, but it doesn't want you to actually enjoy your life at all and snap to... If you have foundations and you build posts up and you try to snap a stair, it'll snap it out over the, uh, the gap, not out over the foundation that you put down. So what we're going to do is we're going we're gonna to have these here for now, but we'll move them once we have our stairs. So which stairs do we want? We, we want the ones that are going to be like this. See how, oh my god, see how joyful we can be when we clap our hands together. Okay. That's intersecting with a lip up there. One of the ways we can solve that problem is simply lowering this down so it's underneath that lip. Like I said at the beginning, this will be the most fun part of the build. Did I say that at the beginning? Or was that just a mangled up thought in my head? Okay, so what you do is these will always snap to the posts providing they're not intersecting with anything and providing that there's not a post above it. So if you get rid of that post, and then you snap to this one. Make sure it's lined up. And then you have that, and then you get rid of this post, and then you just simply are going to fill. I'm going to use, uh, at this point in time, I'm going to use this foundation because this allows me to line up the foundations perfectly. If I ever wanted to change them to something with texture, Later on, they will be lined up how I need them to be. So there, that's a very quick and easy way of getting quick and easy, <laughs> quick and easy way of getting a fire escape back here. Um, now, let's say that it does catch on fire and you stumble all the way down and then you fall off the scurb and die. So let's let's put some stairs there as well. Oh, that's cute. So whenever you encounter a little lip like this and you don't want to have to do the whole jumpy poo jumps. Uh, there is a stash box for you. This footlocker is of the Lord, and therefore it functions as a kind of stair in many cases. So you can put that here. People will be like, oh, there's a random footlocker up here. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, and it's fine. No one will mind at all. And uh, we now that we're here, obviously you can just jump up here. Or we can even just walk across the roof and into the door. So, one of the things I did promise to all of you watching at home is that there will be no goddamn floating structures in this camp. So, we're going to put some posts in so that we are not visited by the angel of death, uh, which you all know. Uh, is not fun. Uh, the Angel of Death is pretty nasty. Last time he came, he tried to kill me. He said, I'm the Angel of Death, and um, you've been killing people in workshops again. And I said, well, that's, you know, kind of part of the game. He said, oh, it is. 
And I said, yeah, there's a, literally this little thing that tells you, are you sure you want to claim this, Bubba? Because people will kill you. And then you say, oh, yeah, I sure do want to claim this. And then people come and kill you. And you can't really act surprised. And the Angel of Death was like, are you fucking kidding me? I never read fine print. And so after examining it, he found out that I was correct. And uh, he apologized. But the point is, in this case, you really just want to uh, just put these posts in can we can we please stick it there that would be nice that would be really fucking nice I guess there will not be one in the center uh, each little piece of your camp acts differently and has different mechanics because and I want you to recite this with me Todd hates us okay thank you all right now put a little wall up here for safety purposes you don't want your grandma to fall off there when she comes over it's or high. do it's you all right so we actually do have an issue here uh if you build down to the ground you'll find that there is a small gap and you can't sink the posts into this because it's a pre-made structure and that basically means remember Todd hates Rated. you one thing we can try to do is the old blueprinted posts trick these will stick anywhere but they still won't mesh with structures that don't want to be uh, meshed but can I put it on the bottom here so that it looks like it's connecting us to the building. I'll show you what I'm talking about. I'm just gonna pull this towards me slightly. No, 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 no. you were better off. Um, something like this. As you see, it, po it, go it goes down where I, where I tell it. And now, I mean, oh man, it is a small, it is a small, it's touching. It's touching, though. And that could be what's holding it up. Let me look from down here and see how realistic... Ow! See how realistic that looks. I don't know. I, I think... I think I'll buy it. Because I need to, in this case. But the, the important thing is, you guys know that I did try. You know, and even if this is all held up by the stairs, it's got this feeble post barely holding it up right there. So I did at least give a nod to physics, if not, you know, listening to it. Oh, let's put our fridge up there. The fuck? What I'm going to do is get rid of this for the second. I'm going to put this up here. Very good spot. Get rid of the top one, obviously. Is that shit or what? It is sticking up a bit. Which is fixable. Everything's fixable, I remember that. Except for some things, which we'll get into later. Um, yeah. Okay, so now we've got a little lean-to going on. I think I'm gonna do this. This will make it kind of... look scrappy. But it'll match the rooftop. Which is... because you don't have concrete on the roof. You have wood on the roof. I know this is a couch, but I think it makes more sense that we're going to be sleeping on a couch. So I'm going to try something, and if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. Make sure it's under the overhang. And then... I'm going to grab bab our little flamey bit. This is going to burn the shit out of that, and it's going to be funny. We just fucking break the couch. Missing it completely. There we go. Store this. Oh, it broke it anyway. Now, is there a bed that will fit in the couch? We may need to stack up some sleeping bags, so we're going to try that first. The reason why I'm doing this this way 
is you can place sleeping bags on the couch, but they really uh, will, will be sticking out. Um, I could save time in fact, I'm going to move just this whole stack. Come on. Instead. Grab the bottom. Back a bit. And then you just click on this and fix it. Now, one thing I want to discuss real quick. Okay, I can't. I no, 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 no. I can't do this anymore. Get the fuck out of my camp. What what exactly makes a camp good? Is it because it takes a lot of work to make it? Is it because he? It was hard to do, or maybe it's because it makes sense in the game. Because I think that that's one of the most important things you can do, is have your camp make sense. Why Why is there a gigantic floating cardboard box with missiles sticking out of it? You know, we came out of a vault. We were... Maybe the raiders built this, maybe I made this, I don't know, but the point is this is this is what a survivor in an, in a post-apocalyptic world's house or camp would more likely look like than something that's, you know, extremely intense and big and there is a lot of really good camps that can be built that are very, very simple. And all it takes is thinking outside the box, thinking like, what what would I do if this was actually the apocalypse, and how would I fortify this place to keep myself safe, and what would it look like if I lived there? And it wouldn't look like, it wouldn't look like grandma's house, with a bunch of fucking decorations everywhere, it would look scrappy, it would look lived in, it would look used. And, uh, a lot of times, it's a lot better to have a very small base than a very massive base that makes no sense. So, while you're, you're thinking, well, this, this base that you're making is garbage, it's, it, it's, all you did was put your, ca your crafting benches on the roof and I know Brian it's not something that you know will, will amaze and astound but I think it's better to have a camp that people can't really tell if it's a camp or not because it so matches the lore of the game that's something that as a base builder we can really take pride in fix it. This does two things. It uh, lights up the area and it also accentuates the fact that we put those in there which is kind of a cool little thing. Put that there. You know and the rest of this is just cluttering things up so I'll do that and I'll be RB. Alright guys so after spending a couple of minutes uh, cluttering it up and making it feel lived in I'll show you what we've got. Come up here, up the fire escape of death. And then you can see what I've done here is I've put the back wall as a different type of wall just to kind of look, make it look boarded up with different scrappy things. I get rid of, uh, got rid of the second rooftop I had here. It looked too put together, too clean. And remember, this needs to look handmade, which is why I chose uh, to use I don't want to have my own place. Which is down. why I chose to use this door. And uh, I put some of these around just to kind of make it look like scrappy, thrown together kind of thing. Now, so as we come inside, what you'll see first of all is this dumbass which unfortunately comes with this radio kit which I wanted in the camp. I heard something um, interesting. If there was a the possible radio. way that if we can have not this in our camp, and have this instead, I'd be all over that in a heartbeat. So what we've got here is I've cluttered it up, uh, made it look like we've 
piled up basically all the shit that doesn't work, and we've just thrown it off to the side. And then, along with all this garbage, we have stuff that does work. In fact, all of our crafting benches. In here, we've got a small kitchen, of course, keeping it as crappy as possible, because this is all stuff we found. Rubbish, bloody refrigerator that, for some reason, is blurry, and that's fine. I put another one of these things here. Now, you can slap yourself on the face with them, but why bother? Why bother doing that? And up here, uh, we have our little rooftop area. I put uh, this light unconnected because these lights are hideous, and they will bleed through everything. There'll be a huge patch of light down there on the ground for no reason. Uh, Tinker's Bench. We've got a little lookout area so we can see if uh, Graham ever walks by. And I put this garbage here. Just, again, scrappy, 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 scrappy. That's the goal here. Uh, we have our little settlement on the rooftops. Safe from death and disease. Let's see hey, how it looks from I down there. Strange. Fall. I am going to get rid of this staircase. I'll do that right now, actually. So that we can have a more complete look of how this will be. So you approach it from this direction, you just kind of... I will move the camp note as well. And I'll probably put it in the pile of junk, uh, just to keep that off there. But you'll approach and you'll see some shit, but you'll be like, what the hell is that? From this direction, you can see the junk walls, and you can see the specifically not floating uh, thing up here. And then uh, you come this way can see some of the signs poking out and the little little wall thing that we built up there and the fire escape so yeah this is just a little quick video remember guys remember the the most important thing about this video I showed you how to do a couple of things you probably already knew how to do because let's face it every, everything's already been done but what the important thing to get out of this video is not to pick that wall up and also that you can get stuck here and also this build isn't a tricky clever technical build it's a complete build it's a build that will make you your camp look like it's part of the world that is more important than having a gigantic floating isosceles triangle that's squirting missiles and uh, has Nuka-Cola wallpaper on it. This is a very simple thing. Anybody can do this. And yet, when the, the finished product, it feels like a thing that's from the game. And that's, that's more important than huge structures. So remember that when you go to look for your next base, try to incorporate the location, try to think about how how it fits in with the lore and what a what an actual human being would build if they had to set their camp up in that spot. As always, thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.